Hey, this is Doug from We Are Open Cop, and this is a recap of workshop one as part of Community Conversations. And this one was all about creating value in your community. If you'd like these slides, then you can access them at bit.ly forward slash value dash cycles. So in the workshop, we introduced ourselves, uh, three of us from We Are Open Cop and three from Participate, went through the agenda and went through the objectives. So understanding different types of value that community members can bring to a community of practice, imagining context specific scenarios um, and recognizing and applying created value. Along the way, uh, people got to ask questions. So what is a community of practice? Well, it's a group of people who share a concern or a passion for something they do and learn how to do it better as they interact regularly. This comes from Etienne Wenger's work, and this is summarized on Wikipedia. So one example that we're going to use in this workshop recap is from the Open Recognition is for Everybody community, and you can access this most easily through badges.community. So here it is on the Participate platform, and this is the example that we'll use. So when it comes to value cycles, what we're talking about are five different ways in which you can engage users and create value within the community. So this comes from some work done in 2001, which built on some work from, two th from 1994. Now, the diagram that's used in that original text is awful looking, but actually quite useful. It shows how all the different value cycles work together. So for example, cycle one there is about immediate value and then there's potential value, etc. But we got our wonderful wizard, Brian Mothers, to think about different ways in which we could represent that. So one would be kind of like a, an Escher never-ending series of, of stairs. Another one might be like a series of tropical islands that you can hop between. But the one that we've kind of settled on is a series of gears or cogs. Um, and you can put these together in, in new and interesting ways. So if we look at the different cycles, cycle one is about immediate value. So what happened and what was my experience of it? Whereas cycle two is about potential value, creating resources, um, like what, what gets produced as a result of the activity. Third, we try and apply that value to a particular context, and that's all about uh, the practice. So different types of practice, um, might be presentations or courses or um, meetings or whatever. Cycle four is about return on investment. So we start measuring stuff so we know how much things have changed, etc., and we quantify feedback. And then cycle five is about reframing value. So looking at things in new and interesting ways based on the value creation created in the community. Um, so if we think about this in, through the, the lens of badges, um, then there's different ways in which we can, can create that value and recognize it and value it as well, value the value. So the first way in cycle one, this is all about immediate value. The ways in which you might notice that in your community is that you might discover, discover something new that you care about or be pushed outside your comfort zone. Um, and you might see that through new discussion threads or people participating in community events. Then moving on to potential value, this is all about kind of resources. So people might have new ways of looking at the situation or they might have started reconsidering their assumptions or uh, some people joining together to create documents. And you might see that through uh, interviews or some things that people create or people self-reporting stuff in, in forums. Cycle three is about applied value. So this is about repurposing documents that might be Creative Commons license stuff or lesson plans or whatever. People making better cases for the thing that the community cares about and it, gaining in confidence. And you might see that through, again, self-reports and feedback, but also just innovation that you see within the community. Two more cycles. Uh, cycle four is about return on investment. So like realized value and performance improvement. So you might see this through individual successes or um, the increase in reputation and recognition or a critical problem being solved. And you, you kind of could look for data sources for that, again, around feedback, around an evaluation of a project that's running within the community or any kind of scorecard which shows numbers going up. And then finally, in terms of reframing value, this is about reshaping what con is considered success within the community. So you might see this through different relationships with stakeholders, um, changes within institutions that are um, have members who are part of the community, different frameworks. And you might see data on this through new stakeholders getting involved, um, different relationships with existing stakeholders, or people changing their strategic plans and priorities. So in terms of applying this to our 
community in terms of open recognitions for everybody, you can see the immediate value, for example, with people introducing themselves to the community. And you can get badges for that. So open badges are ways in which you can showcase uh, recognition within a particular environment. And we've got lots of different kinds of badges for different kinds of cycles. So immediate value and applied value, etc. So the idea is that you recognize the value that's being created within the community. In this case, it's productive community calls and in-person events leading to strengthened relationships and documentation, that being packaged up in a way that's easy to understand for people who are new to the community. And then we survey people at the end of the year so that they can get insights into their wider practice. So all of that fits together in badged ways and also in non-badged ways as well. You can see the bottom five out of five there for one of these, these community calls. Um, thinking that actually we're at the inflection point here. So recognition and reflection as well. Um, thinking about what you could do as a result of this recap, you could go and have a look at the participate platform, tinyurl.com forward slash Y94KAA7X, and you could get a badge for describing your own value creation story, and it takes you through it in a structured way. So if you're interested in this, please do um, have a look at these slides, get in touch with us, and also we'll meet you on the Participate platform as well. Cheers for now.